guys how y'all doing how y'all doing today i don't even know why i start my videos like that but what's up fam we are having uh bushes beans fat free bushes beans ugh, with ground chicken that i made about like a week ago yeah a week ago i can sing the song but anyways let's say grace dear god bless his food in your name amen all right and then in here we got my crystal light my crystal light okay And I'm just waiting for my friend to come because we're going out today. We're going to have fun. Okay, guys. So, update on your boy. Okay? So, anyway. So, I've been having a little bit of bad anxiety. Not from the shot, guys. It's not from the shot at all. Like, I know I've been really paying attention to my body with this shot. Guys, I lost. I lost. I lost four or five pounds, guys, okay? Just in one week. But I think it's because I changed my diet. I was walking and I was like, wait a minute. Unless it was just water weight or I needed a good clean out. I don't know which one it was. But anyways, I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, but what I was going to say to you guys is your boy is going to leave. I think as soon as my parents come back from D.C. and they should be back mid August, maybe the end of July or something. I think I'm going to leave and I think I'm going to stay the rest of the year in D.C. with my sister, if she doesn't mind, to just help her out with my nephews and to just be there for her because I don't want to be in Florida no more. Like, I really feel like, I feel like the people that like know me, know me and love me, love me are like 100% would understand. We'd be like, no, live your life, do what you want to do. Like, I know like John and Lily would be like, bro, go have fun. Do your life. You need to spread your wings. I mean, they're 100% always behind me and they're happy that I get out of Florida. They don't like that I'm stuck. They know that I'm not that type of person. So thank you, John and Lily. Shout out to you guys. Um, and the girls. I'm sorry. I always, I always say John and Lily, but I should say the girls too. Shout out to my nieces. I'm going to call them my nieces. Um. So anyway, so they would be behind me 100%. I know Jama, she's always like, do what you got to do. Have fun. Like, you know, like I support you. And then my best friend, Renita and her son, what up, bro? Um, so they would be like, they would be behind me 100% and support me 100%. Because um, Renita is like, why are you in Florida? Why don't you just move to DC and help your sister? Why are you here? Like, she's like, seriously, you should be up there. Um, cause she knows what I'm living in 100%. She was here for two years and she saw exactly how I'm treated. So she knows. Um, but you gotta have good friends like that. Um, but, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to just, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to go to DC for the rest of the year. And I think I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to just have fun. I think I'm just going to have fun. Like I'm going to I'm going to embrace the time with family and I'm going to embrace the time with my nephews. They're they're going to be 4 and 1. No, 4 and 2, my two nephews. So, and their birthdays are not even that far apart. I think they're like 4 days apart or something like that because my one nephew is July 14th, my other nephew is July 19th. So it's like that is so cool. And they're both miracle babies, like the doctors. I, I'm going to tell you guys that story maybe tomorrow. I'll tell you the story. Because, like, the doctors told my sister she couldn't have any babies. And God gave her two miracle babies. And I'm just like, see, don't ever count yourself out. Don't ever tell yourself you can't, you can't do something, right? I was almost 700 pounds, guys, in 2019. Okay? And the doctors told me before that. And some of my counselors were like, oh, he'll be dead before he's 30 because if he doesn't stop. And that pissed me. I fired that doctor. He was a counselor. I was like, you don't know shit. So shut the, like, ugh, do your job. We're paying you all this money. Do your job. But anyways, he was right almost. Um, so anyways, I lost all that weight, guys. I lost basically two people when I got down to 250. Like, I was a total different person. I was happy. I wasn't stressed out. I was... A different person. I was I wasn't sitting like I'm sitting right now, guys. Like I was go, 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 go. And 
Honestly, I wish to God, but I know why God did it the way he did it. I wish I would have been working at Universal at that time because nothing bothered me. Like nothing. The tiniest, like me and my mom would have our little fights and I would just ignore her and walk away and go get in the car with Jama or take the Uber and go somewhere. Like I did not let nothing bother me. Like I literally was just like, I was literally just like. I didn't care. Like, the people that were proud of me were always sending me messages on Facebook like, good job, bro. You look amazing. I'm so proud of you. Like, congratulations. And, like, my best friend's mom, Mrs. Roke. Shout out to you, Mrs. Roke. I don't even know. She, she like, a second mom to me. And her sons and her daughter were, like, family to us. We were always with them at their house, right? And they lived, like, not that far from us. And we've stayed to – they're my brother's best friends. Like, my brother's up there with them right now. They're my brother's best friends and they're all married and have kids. And my sister, cause I call her my little sister. She just had her first baby with her husband. Shout out to you, Hannah. Um, and she sees me as her older brother too. Like me and her were like this. I always hold her. I would always like, I would always hang out with her. Like she was never like, she was such a tomboy, but like at the same time, like she was always like super, 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 super like close to me. Like I promise you not, if they lived in Orlando, Florida, I would have never been by myself. They would have, like, as soon as they, like, I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, like, I would have never been by myself. Me and her were like this. And we still are. We just don't talk that much. But, like, she has me on Facebook. And what, anyways. So, um, where the hell was I going with this story? I don't know where the hell I was going with that story. But, anyway, oh, yeah. They would see me on Facebook and they were so proud of me. They were like, oh, my God. And that's where I was going with this story. Their mom told me when she came in 2018 for my brother's wedding, for my brother and my sister-in-law, Kayla's wedding. Sister. We call her sister. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. They said, she said, okay, she's like, Matt, I love you. And she's like, I will make, because she makes quilts. And I showed a video. I think I did a YouTube video about this. When I was going through my whole journey, guys, go back in my um, getting ready for surgery journey. You'll see it. She made me a quilt. Because I lost my first hundred pounds and she kept her promise and she made me a quilt. And to this day, I have it saran wrapped. It's in a bag and I have it safe because I don't want it to get dirty. I have that. And then I have my baby blanket that the church made me when my mom and dad said they were going to adopt me. All the church members made me a baby blanket. So these are two quilts that whenever I get my apartment or my house or whatever, or my own baby, like, like literally blood baby, I'm going to wrap my baby in the quilt from my baby blanket and I'm going to put my baby in it. It probably needs to go to the dry cleaners, but still, it's going to be, my baby will be wrapped in it. And then the quilt that Mrs. Roig made me, I'm going to hang on the wall because I love this quilt. It's all my favorite colors. Well, it's just orange. It's basically orange because that's my favorite color with like Bible verses in there and everything. I'll have to show you guys it, but it's on the playlist. But anyways, so that encouraged me to lose weight. And then... My parents to say, congratulations, thank you for doing the surgery, we're proud of you, bought me my first plane ticket to D.C. And anyways, I don't even know why I'm going backwards, but here we are, June 20th, right? My birthday is not even that far away, 2024, last June I was in D.C., I wasn't even home, and my son was whining about it, and this year he don't even talk to me. Because he's selfish. I'm kidding. No, he's living his life. But anyways, it's still a vibe. Um, but anyways, last year I wasn't even here. And he hated that I wasn't here. This year I'm here and we don't do nothing. We don't hang out. Whatever. Anyways. Um, but I just started my shot. Like on June 11th, I started my shot. And... Guys, I hope by 2025, I'm going to give myself some time. Like, I'm not going to rush it or nothing, um, but I'm going to give myself some time to be where I want to be and be traveling the world. And guys, we're going to Rome. We're going to Italy. We're doing a cruise, guys. It's a seven-day cruise. This will be my longest cruise ever. Usually, my sister just does three-day three, three -day cruises, but we're doing seven nights on the boat. And we're getting off and we get to go see stuff. And guys, like, 
and you have to have your passport. This is the first time I'm ever leaving the United States ever. You got to have this little booklet, guys. Look, let me show you it. I'm not going to show it to you because I don't want people to get my information, but you got to have your U.S. passport. This is a little booklet. This is what it looks like, okay? And it is such a nice little passport, U.S. passport, okay? And it gets you through everywhere. And inside, you can stamp it where you go, guys, okay? So I haven't went anywhere, but they have places like, they have Las Vegas, or not Las Vegas, they have Paris, they have Italy, they have Rome, they have France, they have Jamaica, they have China, they have all different places that you gotta go, and you gotta, you gotta, um, you got to put in your information. And then on this page, is the flag, our eagle, the United States eagle, okay? We're the eagle state. But anyways, guys, passports. They're not expensive like people think. Passports are not that expensive. Really, they're not. But, so basically what I'm saying is, your boy is going to leave. He is going to go to D.C. I'm going to probably stay in D.C. the rest of the year. I don't know yet. I got to I gotta figure it out because if this job... Oh, I got to give you guys a heads up on the job so people don't think that he says he gets a job and we never know what happens to it. My job has pushed it again. We don't open this Saturday. Covers has pushed it now all the way to June... July 15th is when they open. We do training all... Not next week, but the week after. We have training that whole week and then we have the grand opening, right? We get paid for training, but... I don't know. I'm a little iffy about this job because I feel like this job, to keep getting it pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, because we were supposed to open up last Saturday and we didn't open up. Actually, no, we were supposed to open up on the 8th. We were supposed to open up June 8th. So now it's been two. Now it's we're not even opening up this month because it keeps raining in Florida and the a restaurant across the street and the car wash are both opened already. I don't know why Covers are not open, but... This is how it is, okay? My hands look so broken. The, the stores and everything across the street are sitting up higher because when they built that land, they they built the dirt up, right? Because it's in like a little swampy area. Covers, they couldn't build it up because there was an old Winn-Dixie and a CBS that closed and a Walgreens that was been there since we moved here. And they couldn't build it up, right? So they had to just build the, the, the um, covers on the land that has been there for who knows how many years and it floods there and it gets muddy there and the tractors and stuff were getting stuck. So they can't open because they're like, we can't have you guys come in. Our whole driveway is not even done yet. Drive through, nothing's ready. So they were like, we'll have to push it. But what they didn't think was June is hurricane season for us and we're already getting our first hurricane soon. Texas is flooded. Parts of Texas are flooded already that got hit yesterday. Or over the weekend. No, yeah, yesterday, yesterday. So, and then parts of Miami are flooded. All the restaurants are flooded and stuff. Like, it's crazy, guys. So, I don't even know if I'm going to be working at Covers. I have no clue. None. But, my best friend D told me that I should tell them, you know what? I'm good. I'm going to pass. And... She said that I should leave because she's kind of like, that's an aura. That's like something not good there because you haven't started working. And honestly, if I'm if I'm completely honest with you guys, the only reason why I'm not in D.C. right now helping my sister was because of this job. Like I literally would be in D.C. because my kid don't even want to hang out with me. He has not even hit me up once to hang out. Okay. And then true, Jama in the Philippines and... She's not even here. So who gonna hang out with me? So um Yeah, there's no one to hang out with me. Why did I say Jama's in the Philippines? Jama was in the Philippines last I don't even know. No, Jama's here. She's sick. That's what I meant. Jama's sick. Jama's sick. That's what I meant. I was thinking Philippines because I was thinking about there's a storm going to the Philippines too, and I was thinking about Jama. Her family being there. But no, Jama's here. She's just sick. Um, we worked yesterday. Um, but 
Um, yeah, so I'm not. I'm not gonna. I don't. Mm, no, nah, I'm good. I'm out. Like John and Lily will understand. They could come to DC. I told them to bring the girls up there to show them the Capitol building, the White House, the monuments, um, Forest Lawn, like all the different cool stuff. They have the Space Museum up there. They have the Science Museum. They have the Spy Museum. The Spy Museum is really cool. They have um, this whole China Place thing. I took some pictures in there when my sister surprised me and take me. It's a really cool. It's like a nightclub, guys. It's so cool in there. I tried to record it, but the music would have got me copyrighted. I wish I could have recorded it. But um, she took me, not last year, not last the year before that. She took me in like 2021, I think, because COVID was still big and people were wearing masks. And you had to wear your mask. She took me just to get me out of the house. Um that was fun. Um, and then they have the FBI building is there. And then they have the African, African American Museum is there with the portrait of Michelle Obama. That's still the biggest portrait in there. Let me ask you all a question. I know I'm random, but why the is Willow Smith in there? Just because she did that stupid little song about her hair. Why the hell is she in there? I don't like Will Smith's family. I don't like them. I'm sorry. I just don't. I don't. I've never liked them. I've never wanted to. No, no. I'm like, why are you in here? You're not, you're not. I have to do another story on that. But just to me, it's like stupid songs like that. What barrier did you break? You didn't even get a Grammy for that song. Like, what barrier did you break? Why are you in there? Like, I don't understand that. Like, they have Aretha Franklin in there. They have Whitney Houston in there. They have Jennifer Hudson in there. They have Beyonce in there, even though I don't know why she's in there. Um, well, I mean, she has a good career. They have powerful women in there. Why you got Willow Smith in there that was like 12 when that song came out? And that song was so stupid. I hated that song. <clears throat> and honestly, some of these people that get fame just through their parents' name, that drives me crazy. Work. For your fame. I'm not saying she doesn't work for it now with her being by by I don't even know what her what her pronouns are. And I'm not making fun of it. I just don't know what it is. Um the only one out of the out of Will Smith's kids that stays out of the media is her his son that I think is a model. I think. That's it. Everyone else is in the media, like and the two younger ones look messed up half the time. Jaden Smith be crying randomly in places and you don't know what the hell's going on with him. And then Willow is like dropping songs that some of them are catchy. <clears throat> but I'm good, dude. I do not like that family at all. I don't know why. There's just certain people that I don't like in Hollywood. Like I'm not a fan of Beyonce and Jay-Z. I never will. Oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. <clears throat> Excuse me. I used to have the biggest crush on Beyonce. When I was younger. Oh my god. I loved her when she was in Destiny's Child. I loved her when she went solo. I loved her in Dream Girls. I loved her in Austin Powers. I loved her in this other Christian movie that she did. I loved her in this movie where her husband, the woman like is obsessed with her, her secretary, and tries to have an affair and then and then Beyonce has to kill the girl in the end of the movie and the girl falls off the thing and breaks the stupid table and then she pops back up and I'm like, How the hell did this white woman die and not the you know anyways, I could go into movies. Um, it was on some creepy crap, but I like that movie. And then she did another one called Carmen where she was a singer and the psychic said she was going to die. And then she didn't believe the psychic and then she died. Um, that was a good movie too. So yeah, I used to have the biggest crush on Beyonce, but well, she's married that ugly looking dude with the big African lips and then he cheated on her. She come out with Lemonade Man song. And then she has two daughters. And I'm like, you're teaching your daughters it's okay to stay with someone that cheats on you. I was like, I'm done, dude. Your morals changed. And now everyone wants to attack Jennifer, Hutz Jennifer Lopez because, but hear me out. Hear me out about Jennifer Lopez, okay? Hear me out. Yes, her movie, Marry Me, flopped. Yes, her album, that whole tour flopped. Because she's, she's back with Ben Affleck. Okay, she's in her happiest moment right now. What do I think that she should do? I'm going to tell you what I think J-Lo should do. J-Lo should do what Celine Dion did, who now is having her own issues. J-Lo needs to go back to Vegas. J-Lo needs to do a stint in Vegas at one of those hotels. Because remember, Britney backed out, has not done it. Celine Dion is not there right now. Mariah Carey, I don't even think, is there right now. So there's... Oh, I think... 
Christina Aguilera is there right now. And they're even talking crap about her. They're saying her show is in like some rundown hotel and it's not good, right? So I think J-Lo could be a good opener down there in in, in Vegas right now, right? A, regular, a, a Some type of like stay at some hotel down there, right? And I think Justin Bieber needs to do that too. I know he's about to be a father. I know that. And I know people say he's a little cuckoo. But dude... He going to start running out of money because this kid wastes money like there's no tomorrow. And they wonder why they're all broke. And then if they're not paying their taxes, the IRS comes after them too. And then his manager just stepped down, but supposedly he was fired last year. But anyways, um, Justin Bieber, I think, could go to Vegas and do a stint because he has so many loyal fans. He don't want to tour no more, right? Because it drains him too much. Okay? So go to Vegas. Do you a tour, the Justin Bieber tour or some Justin Bieber Whatever stint you want to call it, right? Call it the believers, believer, whatever you want to call it, right? I bet you would sell out because you still have loyal fans, loyal fans that would come watch you, okay? And you're right here in Vegas. You're not that far. Tickets are cheap to Vegas. Um, so J-Lo and Justin Bieber should go to Vegas because they're not touring no more. And then Beyonce just, I think, I don't know if she's still on tour, or what? But I know Taylor Swift just said she's done. She's not touring no more. She want to settle down. Is she dating that football player? So Taylor he, Taylor Swift need to be done because all her little breakup songs, all her little relationship songs, they got to go. They got to go. I'm tired of them. Mm -mm. No. I stained my shirt, damn it. I was trying to not stain it so I could wear it today. I don't know if I should hit up Miss Ravine and see if she's still coming or what. Um, but I'm not answering a scammer. But anyways, um, but yeah, those are the people that I need think I need to see in Vegas. I wouldn't go see another Justin Bieber concert. Like I'm good. I saw him when he was like 15, when they first found him in like 2009. I told you guys I went with my cousin. Let me know to my new followers if you guys want me to tell you that story because I met Bieber too because of my my niece, my uh, cousin. So let me know if I, you guys want me to tell you that story. Um, But yeah, I wouldn't go to one of his concerts. I think I would go to a J-Lo concert. I think I would go to, I like some of her songs, her earlier songs when I was in high school. I would go to her concert. Britney Spears needs to do a stint there. I think Britney Spears would be good, but something wrong with Britney too. Um, but let me tell you guys a little bit other stuff about Hollywood, and hopefully this video goes up. There are people in Hollywood that when they see your talent, and even if you don't even have a talent, right, they see a machine making them money. They're going to use that machine, and they don't care how they use that machine. You wonder why some of these celebrities, one, they die, okay, tragically, and you don't know what happened, okay, and the coroner's office doesn't want to really tell you what's going on. I'm thinking they've been paid. Or two, you see them sprung out on drugs or something, and they die, or they end up in and out of rehab, and then they die, um, or they just disappear, uh, look at Amanda Bynes. No one even her career done. Lindsay Lohan is the only person that did the full circle and now is a mother and is now putting out good movies. And now they're making another Freaky Friday. I'm so happy. She was one of my favorite Disney stars. Okay, like I loved Lindsay Lohan. I thought she was gorgeous with her red hair. So she's a good comeback story. Raven Simone, I don't think she ever really fell off the map. I think that she just was so vocal with what how she felt like I am not a black person. And we're just like, girl, yes, you are. And she's like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. Um, and then when she was on The View, that did not help her at all. Um, let me see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who are some other Disney stars that I think have done okay? Tia and Tamara Mowry, or whatever their last name is. They have done good. They were Disney stars for a little bit. Or child stars. Let's say child stars. They did good. They kept Hevel, but that's because both of their parents were military and they were very like disciplined and they did really good. Okay. Um, 
By um, Adrian Bailu or Bailu for however you say her name from Cheetah Girls. She did amazing. She never was seen. I mean, she dated Rob Kardashian and that kind of messed her up a little bit, but she still did good. Now she married and she has a baby and she married to a Christian artist, gospel singer, and she was on a TV show. Um, and I had the biggest crush on her too. Oh my God. Um, still do. Um, for people who think I'm gay. Uh, idiots. People are so stupid nowadays. Um, who else? Who else? There's some other Disney people. Chelsea, I forgot what her real name is. She did, I mean, she did do rehab. It's funny to watch a lot of these Disney kids that like were my childhood, like even Stevens, Hannah Montana, uh, Sweet Life on Deck, um, Waverly Place with Selena Gomez. Um, what else? What, there were some other shows. Um, Kim Possible. Like there were a lot of Disney shows that I watched. We weren't really allowed to watch TV growing up, but like when we did, we'd watch one Saturday morning and that's how we got to see all these Disney shows. So it was cool, um, but like Shia LaBeouf, he really did a few movies. Like his movie Holes was from Disney. That was a big movie. His When he did Transformers, those movies were big, 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 big. And then I don't know why he left in the last one. And then they give it to Mark Wahlberg and the movie kind of just flopped after that. Because um, everyone was so used to Shia LaBeouf. Um, and then he did the, it's not Insidious. There was something about the neighbor. I forget what the, that was a good movie too. That was one of my favorite movies he did. Um, but anyways, there were a lot of Disney stars that have done good. There's some that have done bad that to this day, you still like, where the hell are they? Um, the, the Sprouse brothers, they did good. They disappeared for, they literally, they did good. Okay, listen. So they had a mother that was, I think, a little mentally ill or something like that, because they talk about it now. But their father was like their best friend. Um, <clears throat> their mother put them into show business. I don't remember. I just don't want to speak stuff I don't know about. But anyways, they disappeared. They went to college. They finished school. They graduated. And then I think Cole Sprouse got, I don't know if he auditioned or they called him to do Riverdale. He blew up on Riverdale. Riverdale was like one of the biggest CW shows for like the longest time. And then Dylan Sprouse, he opened a brewery selling beer and all this other stuff. And then he started acting again and he did some really crappy movies and then he did some good movies. And then they're now both acting still and doing movies and they're producing and they're all this other stuff. And then they did really good. You never saw them in and out of trouble. I mean, they probably did crazy stuff when they were in college, but it didn't make the media. Um, and then... Miley Cyrus, I want to say she's kind of like, she's kind of all over the place still. Like, she's not married. She was married to one of the Hempstein brothers or whatever their names are. And that broke up. Then she went lesbian for a while. Then she was with Cody Simpson for a while. Then she went back lesbian, I think, or bi or whatever. And now she just puts out music and won her first Grammy ever. But I still have a crush on her. I've always had a crush on her. She's always been just gorgeous to me. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, guys, like, I don't even know where the hell I went with this story, but I'm all over the place at 28 minutes. We're done, guys. I will see you guys later. I didn't even finish all my food and, um, I'll do a part two guys. But yes, I think I'm going to leave as soon as my parents get back. They should get back in August. I think I'm going to head up to DC for a while and I'm going to just do me for a while because I'm not putting my life on hold for nobody no more. No one cares. And I'm not going to put my life on hold anymore for people because, yeah, people don't care. They want to lie to your face and say they care. But behind doors, they don't give a crap about you. They don't care. So I got to the point where it's like, I'm good. I'm going to travel. I'm going to do me. I'm going to stay close to the people that I trust in my life. And I have five people in my hand that I can trust. And yeah, I'm just going to do me. I'm done like... I'm done with the, don't leave. No, bye. You don't care. So I'm going to do me. And... You got to after a while. You can't live through other people. You got to do you. Point blank, period. Okay? And like my cousin says, don't worry about it, sweetheart. So anyways, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Bye.